I'm Caitlin Mulcahy coming to you live from the NCTV studio. Today is August 31st and a day A. Thanks for joining us for our first broadcast of the year. Yeah, and I'm Luke Rambuya, only two days in and already so much to cover. But first, will everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. First, we want to welcome freshmen and any new students. For those of you unfamiliar with the weekly broadcast, we are here to give you, the teachers and the staff, the latest on what's up with the school. We report on sports news updates and how our Rams are doing. We also have a spectacular weather team, whom I'm partial to, to give you the weekend forecast so you can be sure to plan your weekend activities accordingly. We're a team here, a family, here to update you on the latest news and trends. So let's get started. Well, Caitlin, I'm sure that everyone is very excited to hear about the classrooms and libraries while they're watching us, but we can't forget about summer. I know that I had a great summer like I'm sure the rest of you had, but I'm ready to get back into the swing of things with our weekly broadcast. And how can we forget to mention, we have a whole new class entering the school. Shout out to all the freshmen starting their high school careers, and good luck to you all. Make the most of your high school experience, because it does fly by pretty fast. I couldn't agree more, Luke. And speaking of time flying by, our time with former assistant principal Mr. Gussich has certainly flown by. We'll definitely be missing him around the school, but we wish him the best of luck as the new principal at Sachs. However, looking forward towards the future, we are excited to see Mrs. Carriero as our new assistant principal. So if you see her around the halls, be sure to give her a warm NCHS welcome. Along with the changes in teachers and principals around the school, there have been many changes to improve the school overall. Starting with my personal favorite, the gym floor has been redone with more vibrant colors, giving life to the gym. Moving on to some other updates, there have been changes made to the track, field, wagon room, and the library. All these changes have been made to improve our school and continue to make us great. That's right, and I have to say that I am loving the new look and feel around the halls. Now moving on to parking passes, we have some pretty important information, so juniors and seniors, listen up. This year you may request a parking sticker for one vehicle only, and these payments must be done online through the school cash system. Once you've done this, you can stop by the attendance office to submit your parking application. Now this is extremely important now more than ever, as only registered vehicles may be parked on campus. In other news, the NCHS Theater Department is kicking off their season by holding auditions for both the Underclassmen Fall Musical and the Upperclassmen Fall Musical for the fall play. Freshmen and sophomores auditions for the Adam Family are held Tuesday and Wednesday of next week from 2.30 to 6 in the auditorium with callbacks on Thursday. Those auditioning must become prepared with a musical theater song, so don't forget. Juniors and seniors auditions for Letters to Sala will be held following week on the 11th and 12th also from 2.30 to 6, along with callbacks on the 13th. You guys must prepare a serious monologue for your audition, and good luck to everyone trying out. Well, Luke, it looks like we almost had the first week of school under our belts. That's right, Caitlin. But here to give us a welcome back is none other than the big man himself, Principal Egan. there. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Egan. Welcome back to New Canaan High School, the best high school in America. I hope that all of you have a tremendous school year. I hope your summer was amazing and you're looking forward to the school year. The staff has worked hard to prepare. They're ready to help you in any way they can and look forward to working with each other and making it a successful year. Remember, work hard, do your best, and be kind and compassionate to everyone you meet. Now, have a great year. Excuse me, while well, I have to go off-roading, so take care. Well, thank you, Mr. Egan. We're looking forward to a fun and productive year as well. And I have to say, nice shirt. Although school is just getting started, our ramps have been pretty busy. Let's head over to our sports reporter, Dylan Pescator, to get the inside scoop on our sports teams. Dylan. Luke and Kaylin, it's so great to be back. And now to you guys. Good morning, NCHS. I'm Dylan Pescatori, And with fall sports, fall approaching rapidly, let's get into some sports. With this, being the first, oh, with this being the first week of school, sports teams are gearing up for the season. 
Starting off with the boys soccer team, plays St. Luke's in a scrimmage today at 4 over at Connor Field, so head over there to see the boys. Moving on to the girls, they head up to Staples on Saturday for a jamboree. And also this weekend, the field hockey team is traveling to Greenwich for their Sacred Heart Playday games. And finally, tomorrow, the football team has a jamboree at Dunning at 10 a.m. Good luck to all teams and stay cool, but I'm not the weather guy. I'll stick to sports. Well, that's it for me on THS, and get excited because the regular season for most sports teams starts next week. Hope you all have a great first couple of weeks of school, and I'll see you next week with some fall previews. Kaylin and Luke, take it away. Thanks, Dylan, and it looks like despite the holiday weekend that our sports teams will certainly be busy. And I know that our sports teams have also been struggling a little bit with the heat. For more information on the upcoming weather, let's head over to Harvey Duplock. Harvey, how's it looking? Thanks for the warm introduction, Kaylin. And you are right, it's been pretty hot these past few days, with temperatures reaching up into the 90s and even getting into 100 degrees in some parts of Connecticut. So therefore, I am delighted to say that it will cool down heading into this three-day weekend. Hello, NCHS. I'm Harvey Duplock, here to tell you this weekend's weather. First of all, this morning, we've already seen pretty uh, cloudy skies, as well as the temperature starting in the 60s. However, it has been warming up and will continue to do so until we reach a high in the upper 70s. Today it will be a bit of a grey day, but don't worry because Saturday will be much better. Saturday is going to be a great start to September with mostly cloudy skies and a low in the upper 60s, which will heat up uh, to a high in the 70s. Saturday will be the perfect time to go outside, relax and have some, uh, have some fun. And also, in a shocking turn of events, Sunday is looking really nice out with mostly cloudy skies and a low starting in 70, uh, at 70 degrees, which will heat up throughout the day until we reach a high of 80 degrees or around there. Continuing the trend, Trend of great weather, however, it's Monday. Monday is looking great. Um, it's looking great out. Expect mostly sunny skies with a low in the lower 70s and a high in the upper 80s. The hottest it will be this weekend. We do have Monday off as well, so please get outside and have some fun on this wonderful Labor Day. Luke, Caitlin, this weekend we'll see its ups and downs with a bit of a cloudy sky, but then there will be a lot of heat. So I am happy to report that next week will be amazing with each day being in the 80s. Thank you guys. I hope everyone uh, here has a great school year. I've been Harvey Duplock and back to you Luke and Caitlin. Thanks Harvey. Now as a reminder this Monday Labor Day there will be no school as we commemorate the workers of our nation and their contributions to the achievement and success of the U.S. as a nation. Tuesday will then follow a regular B-Day schedule. Now before we go we would like to wish a very happy birthday to Pablo Villa. If you have any announcements, be sure to email us at nctv78 at gmail.com or tweet at us at nctv78 a week before the Friday broadcast. This has been Luke Rambuya. And I'm Caitlin Mulcahy. Have a great weekend, NCHS.